Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, lastly, we finished uh, image filtering and drawing functions modules, and we are uh, we continue on this uh, list. Uh, today we will start to geometric image transformations, and we will uh, finish as a next module this one. And in here there are a couple of functions, and the most important functions in this list is. Uh, remap and resize these are the most also warp affine we can count on the the most important functions in these modules and uh, today we I want to talk about resize firstly after that I will pass on remap and warp affine uh, respectively and we will talk about others also and we will also finish this module uh, resize uh, is a is a function which uh, actually the resize any image uh, which you give as an input to the function and it will uh, give as output according to your parameters which kind of parameters you give to resize your image um, basically it has as an input source image and destination matrix image and this is size and this is the other way of uh, other way of defining the size and this is also this is not really important default interlinear and it's enough i think don't need to deal much about this parameter let's talk with the others as a, with an example in this example i uh, downloaded as an lena image uh, actually this is 500 to 500 maybe yeah and let's see play on this one also i want to see the input how it looks like and how is the output Okay. Okay, let's calling the function. First of all, we are giving the input and then we are giving output which is our Ah, oh, it's wrong, sorry. Then it will be like frame and output. Okay, uh, input frame, output, output, and size. In here, we are defining the size, which is, um, for example, if we want to define like this, we firstly we should give the desired width or columns, number of columns. Let's say 1000 and uh, desired rows, let's make it weird and make it 200 and after that fx and f0 is not important after you define size why i will talk about that let's see the result first of all okay here you see in the right side the input and here is the output and this is the desired 1000 width and 200 height and this is the result of this image resize resize function is very important because in any um neural networks or artificial intelligence things uh, before um, before training any data data collection of images uh, first of all uh, before processing we are generally all of these tools are making resize to decrease the um, decrease the working uh, decrease the working working difficulty of the tools they are always making resize and in any other um, projects also we use much resize so that's why this is very important we made a simple example in here and why what does these two parameters after size doing actually if you define any size here these are meaningless for example even you put 10 or 10 it will do anything as you can see nothing changed uh, but if you don't define size you uh, you can define this for example this represent x if you make 10 and let's make it 2 and in here you will see the result again is very similar let's make it 2 to 10 okay what does this do actually if you don't define any size after that you should define these two parameters first one x uh, define about the witness 
and if you make it two it uh, means two times of the real image width for example it's almost 1000 the real image 500 double of that double times of width it's become 1000 if you define height 10 after that y 10 times the real height of the image and it becomes almost 5000 as you can see and but you shouldn't define size if you want to use this parameter you should you don't have to uh, define size just make it empty then define it as a scale yes in this video we talk about the resize uh, as I said again this is really important function and in the next videos we will most probably talk about remap and others see you in the next videos